Okay guys, it's Ozzy Griffin here, trying not to give you motion sickness, it's uh, hard to find a good place to sit my camera that isn't going to blind you with motion. Um, this is a response to the Messianic Manic uh, and his video about uh, spirit science and Jordan Dolishol, aka Jordan David. Um, um, you, and a big shout out to the Ginger Atheist actually, he did a really great vi uh, response via video, which is going the way of the dinosaur. Thank you YouTube. See my rant. So, yeah. What can I tell you, man? Y you and the Ginger Atheist both had a um, lingering, unanswered question, which I think is a logical fallacy called begging the question. I would have to double check on the rules for that one. Anyway, you're you're basically the lingering question that was left in the air, at least as far as I could tell, was. Where do these people come from? You know, who are these people? How do they congregate like this? You know, what draws them together? What's with them? And today I'm going to tell you. When you live in a society that claims it has all the answers, inevitably you run into a situation where the society does not have the answers you're looking for. And you are unsatisfied. Now, people who are unsatisfied in different ways join different crowds. Uh, given that morality, in my experience, is... Uh, comes from human beings and how we deal with each other when there's material scarcity. The material scarcity, the uh, real, what you'd call real life facts and figures and uh, solutions crowd tend to ver veer towards the conspiracy theory Alex Jones-esque guys. Um, you know, it gets past the smell test in a lot of cases, you're not usually the taste test. These are the alternative researchers and for a lot, a lot of them, uh, there's well-meaning people, and they can tend to put forward a lot of good information or dig up connections that other people don't find. Frank, quite frankly, a society needs a few of these people. Um, the people who insist that there is an answer from the establishment, we just haven't fa figured out how it all fits together yet. These people want social acceptance, and they tend to become the apologists. Uh, if I have to explain who those people are to, to grow into being, uh, quite frankly, I'm not talking to the Messianic Manic, am I? Now, the other people, there's two more groups. One group want uh, a power satisfaction because they were deriving, using the ex easy explanations of the system uh, for their own power. These people tend to be narcissistic pers uh, personalities and power trippers. Uh, and they will tend to just copy the system, which is to tell people to shut up and get on with it. Now, the final group is the people who get into spirit science. These people want emotional satisfaction. And they tend to be the absolute nicest people you have ever met in your entire life. I'm, I'm, I'm serious about that. And society, as I was saying before, needs a lot of these people. And it has them, as you've seen. However, the problem here is that if you can emotionally engage these people, remember, that was the first thing in the video. If you can emotionally engage these people, you can basically um, you can basically trick them into doing whatever you want because they aren't going to question once the emotional connection is there. They all they are genetically programmed, and I technically was part of this crowd. Until you kick in their critical reasoning, until you teach them the axiom, and it can definitely be learned even by these people that. Incredible claims require incredible evidence. These people will follow you off a cliff if they re if you make an emotional no if you make a sufficiently emotional case for it. So, what you've got to do with these people is just slowly, which I've been trying to do, slowly teach them that if they want one thing out of you, that's one thing. If they want to just be heard out, that's fine. Smile and nod, that's fine. If they want to go, f if they want to sell you something, then you've got to be more shrewd and you handle it in an economic way. You know, horses for courses. If you can teach these people that, they can become fine, educated, productive members of society. When you come through the public school system, which is imply, which only cares that you repeat the right answers, regardless of whether you understand them, guess what? These people become sheep. Heard them one way, heard them another. As long as you know the right whip to use, they'll go. 
In this case, it's emotion. So yeah, guys, I hope this has been educational. Uh, you know, if you want to know more about this from a diehard, you know, uh, atheist or skeptic, uh, Aaron Ra was part of this crowd. Um, I'm a big fan of, I think he said Krellian photography was something he was fascinated by for a while. <coughs> Excuse me. And if you want to know more about the Alex Jones crowd uh, from someone who got out of it, uh, Vomit Coyote used to be part of them, so you don't have to take my word for it, check out with him. Okay guys, that's four categories, and you guys have a good afternoon.